Do you ever wonder what lies deep below the surface of our oceans? Well, scientists don't understand what's going on in the deep abyss lately. Think about this. An underwater volcano that has been hiding in the dark suddenly erupts, causing a show that no one has ever seen before. But what really happened down there? What did it do that scientists didn't expect? Could this very unusual event be the key to finding out what's going on in the Earth's most mysterious realms? Let's talk about this mystery. In January 2022, the Tonga Islands experienced a natural disaster when the mostly underwater island of Tonga, Hawaii volcano began erupting with terrible fury. This event was unprecedented and shocked experts, as only about 25% of the country's 170 small islands are habitable. The volcano had been mostly dormant for about seven years, but at the end of 2021, it erupted again, growing crops like squash, coconuts, and root veggies. In Nuku, Alofa, the capital of Tonga, the volcano began to show signs of coming back to life. In January 2022, things seemed to calm down, and the Tonga Geological Services confirmed this on January 11th. However, days later, a strong smell of sulfur filled Nuku Alofa, and the sky turned an odd shade of blue and purple. Waves started to behave strangely along the coastline, and panic set in. By 4.20 a.m. on January 14, 2022, people were completely freaked out. An incredible explosion sounded from Hungary and shook the ground beneath their feet. People were running away from the civil area because it was right next to the water. Honga had erupted with terrible violence, and now people all over Tonga were having to deal with the terrible effects of one thing. Two terrible tsunamis were caused, and a huge amount of ash shot into the sky and is now falling on the people below. Breathing was also a problem, so people were told to wear masks. The eruption affected not only the people on Tonga, Tapu, but also the island of Namuka. C. Faden Gain, who was walking in the woods when she felt the blast, ran away from the coast in fear and towards safer ground. She and her husband had to act quickly because the sea was quickly flooding their island. As they sped off, more explosions shook the island, and the noise was so loud that they briefly lost their hearing. Houses nearby were being swept away by the rising water, making the atmosphere in doom even worse. Phaeton Gain noticed that there was no drinking water to be found, which was a problem for everyone, especially for her youngest child, who was only four years old. Without water, Phaeton Gain couldn't mix any formula for her baby. The Tongan Islands experienced a devastating tsunami after the tsunami hit, leaving many people devastated and without homes. A man named Lala Fala, who was out for a walk, clung desperately to a tree as the waves crashed over him. Deliva to Ofi and her grandmother were also holding onto trees to avoid the terrible waves. They managed to escape during a rare break in the waves and headed for high ground, which was badly hit by the tsunami. Mango Island was also affected, with four people killed and many more injured. Many islanders around Tonga, who made it through the night were brought to Tonga Tapu by boat the next day, where they lost almost everything, including their homes. The eruption was so strong that it was known all over the world, but it was hard to get information about the situation. Communication networks were down for several days after the eruption, making phones and the internet across the islands unusable. Satellite images were also not very clear, as the ash covered the entire area in an obsidian light layer. People with family in Tonga were more upset by the lack of news coming out of the islands. Trisha Emerson, who lives in Australia and has family in Tonga, said that she had to wait far too long to learn what had happened to them. She had to make about 40 calls in those days, which must have been frustrating and horrifying. Eventually, she did get through in the end, but it was around 4 o'clock a.m. After the eruption, scientists discovered that the Hungarian volcano eruption had the strongest lightning ever recorded, with 50% of all the lightning seen on Earth at that time happening in the system created by the volcano. 
This event turned the lives of the Tonga population upside down, which must have been terrifying. The lightning strike may have been even stronger because it damaged some of the measuring tools. Chris Bagasi, one of the researchers who did the study, was blown away by what he saw, thinking it was truly unprecedented. The Hungarian volcano eruption was a truly extreme event, and it will be hard to top. The Hunga eruption in Tonga has highlighted the need for better preparedness for submarine volcanoes, which can be devastating and change people's lives. Currently, monitoring is at a low level due to the numerous potentially active submarine volcanoes and the high cost of installing and maintaining seismometers. As the two-year anniversary approaches, countries at risk from underwater volcanic eruptions are not being watched. Tens of thousands of people worldwide could be in danger and it is frightening to think about how dangerous things are underwater. Card modeling by experts has shown the potential danger of a Marsili eruption, such as causing a tsunami that could reach heights of 100 feet before crashing into places like Sicily and Calabria. Kenna Harmony Rubin, a geochemistry and volcanology professor at the University of Hawaii, says that monitoring submarine volcanoes from below is still very new and requires enough resources to improve. The technology needed to do it right would cost up to $36,000 a day, and for the few hundred known submarine volcanoes, such a network is not practical. Tonga is trying to be proactive after the Hunga blast by installing new monitoring equipment and thermal infrared detectors around vents and crevices. As of September 2023, four of the eight seismographs in Tonga were working but scientists still don't know what normal levels of activity look like because there hasn't been any seismographic monitoring up to this point. Scientists are still trying to figure out what happened and how to prevent future eruptions. In the meantime, the people of Tonga have been trying to rebuild their lives that has been difficult due to the uprooting of people and the loss of homes, businesses, and jobs. This is it for today. We hope you enjoyed the video. If so, then share your thoughts in the comments and also share this video with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so you can never miss our video.